One of the other interesting things that we have the teams do, and the Jersey Square guys was a great example, is to start to put together u the unit economics, the metrics that matter for both revenue and cost. So they were going to take the annual subscription revenue, 199, and see what their business looked like. So they assumed that the cost of a jersey with 25% off to them, that is to Jersey Square, was $150. They think they'll be able to rent it five times during the year, that their shipping cost was about $9, their cleaning cost a dollar, processing cost a dollar, and their customer acquisition, that is ac customer acquisition and activation cost, $25 a team. And, and so if you take a look at their unit cost, you add all this up, it's $230, but their revenue was only $199. Why would they do this? Because they were going to lose $31 a year? Well, remember, this is to acquire a customer. But what you need to look at is the customer lifetime value. What happens when this customer renews for the next year? Well, in the next year, you don't have that jersey cost because you're still turning that jersey. He might have only used it two or three or four times. And you don't have the customer acquisition cost because you already acquired that customer. You still have your shipping, cleaning, and processing costs but your unit costs are now $55. And if you get 60% retention, your net for those customers now who stay longer than a year is $86. Now, you can immediately see some of the fallacies in, in these first back of the envelope calculations is, well, what if they use the jersey seven times in a year? You're actually buying more jerseys per year and actually you're losing money in year two, three, and four. So you might want to be limiting the number of times you can actually rent the jersey in a year, or you could just be uh, changing your revenue model. Uh, but this is a good visual way to start thinking about how to start doing the math for metrics that matter.